Hiya, Lindy of Sailament Chain in Scotland. I know many of you have reached out and um, asked about Sailament training courses and so I wanted to come on and update you as to where we're at with the training just so that you're not being left hanging and waiting for something that's not going to happen because we have just completed the last new celebrant training course of 2021. So that means there will not be any more uh, new celebrant training this year. And that's quite simply because I've decided to change, completely change the format of the training. It's not even going to be under the heading of Celebrant Training Scotland. It's going to be through my new venture, Ayant Scotland, and that's something that will unfold in time. But what that means is if you're somebody that's looking to train to become a celebrant, then uh, th there are no training opportunities going to be available this year here at Celebrant Training Scotland. There will still be training, but it will be more practical skills training for those celebrants who are already trained and who are out there practising. And I wouldn't even advise that you hang off to 2022 for courses that come up then. I know our courses are really popular, but as I say, the format's going to completely change and it's probably going to be a year-long programme. And so I know lots of you, or certainly many of you, are looking for a more short, intensive course that you can um, enrol on so that you can get it done and get out there and start practising as a celebrant. But that's not going to be with um, with Celebrant Chair in Scotland. As I say, I want to completely change the format, how we approach ceremony, and, um, and so, uh, yeah, it's going to be a much longer programme and... Um, and I don't even know what it's going to look like at the moment. But we bit of an idea, but hey -ho. So anyway, if you are somebody who's looking to get started as a celebrant and you've been sitting back waiting for uh, our courses to become available, it's just to let you know that's not going to happen. So I would advise that you do your research and look at the other training providers and find one who is a match for you is going to provide what you think is the best value for money. And, um, and I wish you all the best on your journey. If you are serious about becoming a celebrant and um, and you find the right training provider, who knows, maybe we'll see you in one of the CTS practical skills courses. But um, for now, therefore.